The holidays are approaching. You're waiting for them. Merry times, I understand. But me, I want to get existential. Ho, ho, ho. Have you thought about the purpose of your existence on this plane, bitch? Well, you're about to. In this video, I'd like to present to you my findings regarding the vast subject titled, What's the Meaning of Life? Hey honey, do you know what's the meaning of life? You forgot the carrot, didn't you? I got a carrot for you, and you know where it is. Before stumbling into the answer that I will show you today, I felt lost. There was an inherent pointlessness of any pursuit I could think of. Why create a great company when at some point you would die, a moron CEO will come after you and F it all up, while some whiz kid from a garage will render your entire life's work obsolete with some pocket sized gadget they hacked in a weekend. Why help people when people care about their own problems first and foremost? I will put in a hundred hour weeks until I die so humanity can go to Mars before Earth explodes, live on renewable energy and make AI that will work instead of them. For a regular person, this sacrifice is not as pressing as, come on baby, anal doesn't hurt that much, trust me, I know. I went on a search. I binge watched Tony Robbins and his horse teeth, but I wasn't satisfied. It was how to do it better, but nothing for why do it at all. I binge watched all of those top 10 tips to becoming a billionaire and all of them were telling me money is not the answer. Then I found out about meditation and I learned how to stay in that void of no meaning, of nothing. I learned that one needs to be able to decide when to think and when not to think. And the longer you can stay without thinking, the better your thinking becomes. Because there's less mind clutter influencing the prism through which you view reality. Whoa, dude. That was heavy, man. Watching this video, you're probably feeling overwhelmed by all the change that is happening around you. You're beginning to lose sense of why do you need to keep solving problems to make money when it has become so hard. Also, you've tried to be a lazy cunt, but it felt horrible. Ma, have you seen my other sock? Jeffrey, please leave my house. You're 30. And that sock has sperm in it. You're disgusting. Get a job and live life on your terms. Bah, you are not alone. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Huh, a cliff. You're not alone there, Miss Suicidal Skater. Mental health is one of the biggest issues we're all dealing with at the moment. 1 in 13 people globally suffers from anxiety, through an estimated 1.38 million suicide attempts in 2019 alone. It's just so hard to be alive and some people don't see a reason to keep going through that meat grinder we call a Monday. On the other hand, there's this German dude, Friedrich Nietzsche who said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how, so I needed to find a why that made sense to me. Marie Curie said that nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. I had to understand the why behind conscious existence right after I pet my doggy. Look at him, just look at him, look. Thinking framework. I wanted my why to be universal. I wanted to find the why for all humans, past our desires, past our fears, past our conditioning, past our parents and environment, past any belief system from religion or authority figures. I wanted my why to be applicable for any pursuit, for any situation. I wanted to know that there is a reason underneath every problem I am to face, all of them. I needed it to be simple, but hold complexity. I needed it to help me understand the reason why I exist. That's a tall order, son. Who do you think I am, Putin? I can't give you all that shit. It's okay, Santa. I got it, man. The purpose of life is evolution. You can see evolution everywhere. In nature, in business, in science, in technology, in society, in you. Evolution is the eternal process of getting better at dealing with your current circumstances. There are challenges that come up all the times, no matter your status, no matter your location. You have issues to figure out, things will not work, your expectations will lose the reality. All of this is the impetus to your purpose, to evolve. A problem is a problem because you don't have the solution for it yet. When you figure it out, it's no longer an issue. You don't feel anything when it happens, you just solve it because you know how. You fine tune the previous solution to the current version of the challenge you've already solved and you're okay. Why are you okay? Because you leveled up to a new version of yourself, a version who can deal with that type of challenge. But guess what? Reality doesn't stop. You will get yourself another challenge. You will get yourself another challenge. Because we all carry this irrational, perverse need to grunt the weight of facing new challenges. Why? Because the purpose of this physical reality you are currently in is to present to you conditions that will push you into your next version. And if you can't overcome your current challenge, well, you just stay on it.
A lot of people are dealing with the same exact type of challenge their entire life and their progress is kept by what they cannot solve. They are functionally recycling the same being which gives them the same experiences over and over again. Which leads me to my next point. Challenges are internal more than they are external. Sure you might think your internet provider is shitting the bed while you are in the middle of watching the newest addition to the critically acclaimed franchise Punisher or Spinsters is external but it really isn't. The problem is that you let that external event produce a negative reaction in your inner world. That negative reaction being the result from the equation expectations minus reality. If that number is negative, you mad. And so once you figure out what is the internal issue that is responsible for the persistence of this challenge, you can solve that challenge without the inner turmoil because the solution for it comes from an inner world in which that external problem does not exist. What about the concept of dreams and having a vision for your life? It seems that following your dream always makes you feel more alive than any other pursuit. At the same time, it's not the easiest pursuit you can choose. It's often so challenging that most of us give up. The way I can explain dreams in connection to evolution is that dreams are the pathways which have the problems that will grow you the most the fastest. So it's not that a dream is the easiest thing you can manifest, it's that a dream is a journey which holds the challenges you need the most to evolve. It's the irrational decision to go into the unknown powered by the essential nature of a human to evolve. The meaning of life is evolution. It is improvement. Objections. But you might say, what about the things we do just for fun? That's the cool thing about evolution. If you start snowboarding for fun and you keep doing it at some point even without wanting to improve, you will. Now the desire to improve will increase the rate of improvement, but the lack of desire to improve does not totally impede the improvement. I've worked in many jobs I didn't like, I didn't care about improving, but after a month I got better. And you know what? Doesn't matter what it is, the very process of getting better at something feels good itself. Why? Because it's contributing towards your personal evolution and towards the collective evolution. You being a better employee will help a firm which will help the economy. Being a better father will help your kid but your kid will go to school and it will influence other kids and one day as it interacts with society, your personal imprint in his or her consciousness will ripple through every person he comes in contact with. So my findings and research suggest that the ultimate reason for anything to exist here, including you, is that we are the physical manifestations that contribute and we're a product of the process called evolution. Our God is evolution. Our problems are designed to evolve us. Our dreams are designed to evolve us. Our communication is designed for evolution. Our creations inherit our very nature to constantly evolve, to constantly get better. So be conscious of the reason for your existence is contributing towards the collective evolution through your personal evolution. Outside of that, it's so meaningless. Everything you do here, everything you build, all of your relationships are a mere front for evolution to take place. They are all simulations that bring out evolution in you and through you. Your life here is a transient experience that powers evolution. Integration What will happen if you integrate this realization into your life? Whenever change happens, it's okay. That would evolve me and that is my purpose. Let's figure out how I can adapt. Whenever a challenge arises, it's okay. Figuring out how to fix this will evolve me and that is my purpose. Let's go find the solution. Whenever your dreams clash with reality, it's okay. This challenge is here to be solved by the next version of me. Let's go. Whenever people are being difficult, it's okay. Me figuring out how to deal with them with rationality would evolve me and that is my purpose. Whenever anything happens, whether you think it's positive or negative, there will be challenges in the positive and blessings in the negative, all of which exist for the sole purpose that is in the depths of all the ways your being experiences here, the purpose to evolve.